All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your Renew Flow. Uh, my name is Leah. I'm very happy to be here this morning to guide you all. Um, we're going to ease into this flow today and start on the back. Bring your knees together and then take the soles of your feet out wide. So your knees are going to kind of triangle in and then just come all the way down to the back. The arms can either come to the side or you can place them on the belly, one to the heart, whatever you feel called to do. And if it feels safe, go ahead and just close the eyes or if you feel more comfortable, just a soft gaze. And just begin to draw awareness within. Just find that rhythm of your breath and without changing anything. Just gently ride that rise and fall. Allow the mind to stay nice and quiet. I love a morning practice for that reason. Not too much going on just yet. I can kind of stay in that happy place. Become a little more intentional with your breath. So as you inhale through the nose, let the belly expand, the ribs, the chest. And then release a big audible exhale out. As you let everything go. And then again, deep inhale. Find that expansion all the way to the top. And a big audible exhale, release it all out. And one more time, inhale, expand all the way up. An audible exhale, release it out. And seal the lips. Resume your breath in and out through your nose. And just notice if it feels a little more smooth, a little more even. And begin to invite in that slight hug at the back of your throat as you transition to your ujjayi breath, that ocean sound with your breath. And just begin to follow that rise and fall. And if you're following along on the Spotify playlist, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and start that now. So we'll count it down in five, four, three, two, one, and play. So gently begin to bring your knees into your chest. And just start to circle the knees, roll the lower back. You can take a doesn't matter which way you start, clockwise, counterclockwise. And then begin to take it the opposite way. <clears throat> Land back in center. Give your knees a squeeze. And then extend your left leg long. Flex in the foot. Draw your right knee on the outside of your right ribs up towards your shoulder. I'm going to start here in wind relieving pose. Start to open up through the hip flexors. So connect into the breath. Each time you exhale, draw your knee in a little bit deeper. And gently invite both knees back to center. Quick little squeeze. And then the right leg extends long. Press through the heel. And then draw that left knee on the outside of the ribs. Again, up towards the shoulder. Draw it in tight. And connect into the breath. Each exhale, draw it in a little bit deeper. And then bring both knees back to center. Squeeze them in and cross one ankle over the other. Doesn't matter which one. And start to gently rock forward and back. A little massage through the spine. And then when you're ready, we're going to come all the way up and over. And find yourself into a neutral tabletop position. We're going to spread the fingers wide. 
Shoulders come over the wrists, knees under the hips. Depending on how you feel, you can tuck your toes under this morning. And then on your inhale, tilt up through your sitting bones, reach up through the crown. Exhale as you dome round and tuck, draw your chin to chest. And inhale, hammock your belly down, draw the heart forward, reach up through the crown. And exhale, round through the spine, chin to chest, and press up through the palm. So find that nice stretch through the back body. And then inhale as you continue through this movement of cat and cow. And link breath to your movement. Start to warm through the spine. Become a little more aware of body sensations this morning. And just notice where the body might want to move. Perhaps just play around. Send the hips a little back to the heels. Start to explore barrel rolls, some exaggerated movements through the shoulders. Whatever that feels like for you. There's no right and wrong here in Cat and Cow. It's really about just getting in tune with the body, noticing where movement feels better than others. <clears throat> and after your next full exhale, gently return to that neutral spine. And on your inhale, reach up through the right fingertips and exhale, thread the right arm underneath the left. We're going to stay lifted. So reach the fingertips forward. And next inhale, take those fingertips all the way back up. Exhale as you thread under. Again, active. Shoulder stays lifted. And inhale, reach all the way up. And exhale, thread through. This time we're going to lower the right shoulder down to the mat. And you can either stay left palm where it is. You can tent the fingers out to the side. Gently bring the, bring the forehead down. And just hold here for a few breaths. And gently guide the left palm underneath the shoulder. Inhale takes your right fingertips all the way back up. And exhale as you return to that neutral spine. Inhale, left fingertips reach up. Exhale as you thread left arm under the right. Inhale, reach it all the way up. Exhale, take it under again. Stay lifted and active. Reach fingertips. Inhale, all the way to the sky. And exhale as you thread under. This time the left shoulder comes all the way down. And again, option, leave your right fingertips as they are. Or tent them off to the side, just whatever you feel drawn to do. We're just going to hold here for a couple more breaths. And then guide the right palm under the shoulder. Next inhale takes the left fingertips all the way back up. And exhale, return to that neutral spine. So reset. Fingers wide. And on your inhale, we're going to extend the right heel to the back of whatever room you're in. Crown to the front. And exhale as you round through the spine. Bring your knee in towards your nose. Inhale, find length. Exhale, draw it in. Knee to nose. Press up through the palms. Inhale, find that extension. And exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. This time we're going to stay here. We're going to guide the left toes just off the mat. Left palm begins to ground. Slowly lower the right foot all the way down. Next, inhale, reach up through the right fingertips. Exhale, reach those right fingertips up and over. So your palm is parallel to the floor. Find the supported side plank, a nice side body stretch. So you can find that stretch all the way out of the hip, into the armpit, all the way to the fingertips. Inhale, reach up through the fingertips. And as you exhale, again, return to that neutral spine. Next breath in, extend the left heel back, crown to the front of whatever room you're in. Exhale, dome around, knee to nose. Inhale as you find length. 
Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach it back. And exhale, draw it in, still pressing up through the palms. Inhale, find that extension. Stay here and then guide the right toes just off the mat. Right palm grounds. And then gently on your next inhale, lift the left fingertips up. As you exhale, draw that arm overhead. Again, palm parallel to the mat. Continue to connect into that even breath. Find that nice side body stretch. Start to waken up for the day. And inhale, guide your fingertips all the way back up. And exhale, gently lower them down. Reset on a neutral tabletop. Then bring your big toes to touch. Take your knees out wide. Walk your fingertips forward. Your forehead can gently come down to your mat, to a pillow, whatever you have. And we're just going to take child's pose. So let your hips sink back. The fingertips reach. You can relax the forearms down. And we're just going to hold here. And we connect back into the breath. And then begin to reach the fingertips towards the top of your mat. Notice your forearms rise. On your next inhale, gently guide, glide up to a neutral tabletop. Inhale as you shift forward and exhale, release all the way down. Untuck the toes. Palms can rest underneath the shoulders. And then on your inhale, <laughs> lift up through the heart. For baby cobra, Bhujangasana, you have the option. If you like, you can float your palms, but let the gaze be down the tip of your nose. And exhale, release. And tent your fingers wide to the side so they will come off your mat. Elbows point up towards the ceiling. On your inhale, gently lift up through the heart. And as you exhale, take your gaze over the right shoulder. Inhale to center. Exhale as you look over the left. Inhale, center. And exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, release all the way down. Then slide your palms to the lower part of your rib cage. Tops of your feet press into the mat. And on your inhale, gently rise. Find full cobra. So the thighs stay grounded to the mat. Still a slight bend in the elbows. And then think of finding that expansion through the heart space. So draw the heart forward. One more deep inhale. And exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale, press up to tabletop. Tuck the toes under. And exhale, come into your first downward facing dog. So just let the body begin to warm here. And take a deep bend into the knees. Perhaps you come up on the tippy toes, back down. Just like in your cat and cow, just let your body take organic movement. And allow yourself to find a place where you're still active, breath still flowing evenly. Chest comes a little closer to the shins. Inhale as you gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, bend into the knees. Slowly walk to the top. Inhale, takes you to half lift. Exhale, fold forward. And reach and grab opposite elbows. Find ragdoll pose. So let the head and neck be heavy. Maybe let the belly come onto the thighs. And then explore movement. It can be side to side. Perhaps you play around shifting weight from heels to the ball mounds or the feet. Just find that place where you can let any tension release. And then gently release the fingertips down. Bring your big toes into touch. Slight bend into the knees and slow control on your inhale. Begin to rise. Stacking one vertebra at a time. Arms come all the way up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. 
Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Slay bend into the knees. Inhale, fingertips reach up. Exhale, hips sink back. Come into chair pose. So start to energize through the legs. Everything stays engaged. Weight shifts slightly into the heels. Core is active. So draw the navel up and into spine. The fingertips reach forward. Take an inhale. Exhale, legs stay where they're at. Just fly the arms behind you. Triceps engaged. Inhale, reach back forward. Exhale, fly. Inhale, reach forward. And exhale, fly the arms. Palms face one another. Inhale, come back to chair. Take another deep inhale. This time on your exhale, you're going to step your left foot back. Come into a high lunge. So take a moment. Stack your right knee over the ankle. Draw your right hip back. So you're going to start to find that deeper opening into the left hip flexor. The shoulders come away from the ears. Pinkies reach all the way up. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, slight bend into the back knee, cactus the arms wide. Inhale, take it back to high lunge. Exhale, elbows wide. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend into the knee, shine the heart. Inhale, come back to high lunge. And as you exhale, we're going to open up to warrior two. So back foot comes parallel to the back of your mat. Front heel lines up to either back heel or back arch. Be aware of that foundation set in your right foot. It should feel even. And then bring awareness to your right hip. Just shift it back slightly. So let your knee move towards your pinky toe. Find a little more of a deeper opening of the hips. You can roll your shoulders up and back. Keep them soft from the ears. And the gaze stays soft forward. And stay connected to this lunge. We're going to flip the right palm. Inhale, take your fingertips up and back. Little to no weight in the left hand as you reverse your warrior. So that right knee draws forward. I'm going to find that side body stretch. So connect to the breath as you inhale, take your fingertips up and back. One more deep inhale. And as you exhale, you're gonna cartwheel your hands down to the mat, ground with your left palm as you twist and open to the right for low lunge twist. Now you can lower your left knee down if you like. And just stay here and explore lengthening in the spine as you inhale and then as you exhale is where you deepen into the twist one more inhale on your exhale begin to unwind plant your right palm step your right foot back come into downward facing dog let the heels draw down Ground through the fingertips. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Bend in the knees. Exhale, slowly walk your way to the top. Inhale to half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Big toes touch. Inhale to chair. So again, we've been here before, but take that time mindfully. Become aware of the legs. Engage everything. Shift weight into the heels. Core stays active and strong. Fingertips reach forward. Deep breath in. Exhale, fly the arms behind you. Engage through the triceps. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, fly. Inhale, fingertips reach. Exhale, fly them long. Inhale, come back to chair. And on your exhale, we're going to step the right foot back this time. Find high lunge. So as you set up in this pose, that back heel will stay high. Draw the left hip back. Open up through the right hip flexor. 
Shoulders come away from the ears, connect into the breath. Inhale as you lift and lengthen. Exhale, elbows wide, bend to the back knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, one more time, shine the heart. Inhale, reach. This time on the exhale, we're going to open up, find warrior two. So find that alignment as you stack left knee over the ankle. And then that heel will intersect to the back arch or heel. And then aware as you draw your knee towards your, pink, or your uh, pinky toe. Sorry, just adjusting the lights. Just again, I want to find that opening of the hips here. Continue to lengthen through the side body. And then fingertips find that energetic reach, opposite directions. So this is still a very active and strong pose, but the gaze remains soft. And then flip your left palm. Next time you take breath in, reach the fingertips up and back, little to no weight in the right. So continue to draw that left knee forward. Fingertips come up and back. Find that side body stretch. One more inhale. And on your exhale, begin to windmill the arms all the way down. This time it's the right palm that stays. As you twist and open to the left for low lunge twist. So again, that back heel high. Think of finding the length in the spine. So each time you inhale, Want to grow a little bit taller and exhale, explore deepening into the twist. One more inhale. And on your exhale, gently lower your palm all the way down and step back into downward facing dog. We're just going to reset in down dog. So take a couple mindful breaths. Inhale through the nose, open mouth release. One more time. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth. Let something go. Then let your gaze move to the middle of your mat and slowly begin to walk your feet forward, your hands back till they meet. Your feet are still at hip width distance. Inhale, half lift. Find that flat back. Exhale, fold forward. We're going to take a deep, deep bend into the knees here. And then one at a time, lift your toes. Slide your palms underneath until your toes connect to your wrist creases. So take as deep a bend in the knees as you need. And if that's not cutting it for you, you can either take peace fingers to big toes, or if you prefer, just a rag doll. If you have the gorilla pose, start to draw your elbows wide to the side. Draw the crown of your head down. But slide your shoulder blades away from the back. And if you have gorilla pose, begin to shift weight back into the heels. Then one at a time, lift your toes, release your hands. <clears throat> Allow your hands to connect to the hips. Engage the core. Inhale, slowly rise. <clears throat> Exhale. I'm going to come into a Tadasana. So arms to the side, spread the toes wide, ground down. Shoulders come up and back. Let your chin come parallel to your mat. Stand tall through the crown and just pause here. If it feels comfortable, you can close the eyes or just find a soft gaze. And then just begin to dial into the rhythm of your breath. Reconnect back into that ocean sound. And just allow yourself to just be here now. And slowly begin to flutter the eyes open. Allow the hands to come to the hips. <clears throat> and with the left foot, we're going to take a big step back, like two to three feet. Angle your back foot about 45-ish degrees. You want to make sure your feet are lining up in separate lines. You don't, don't want one behind the other. You want to find a more opening in the hips. So take this one wide. 
to have your stance, draw your right hip back, so square off. And then find expansion in the heart. So bring the elbows towards one another behind you. <clears throat> Inhale as you lift and lengthen. Exhale slowly, hinge forward from the hips, begin to lower down. Find a halfway stop. Inhale as you lengthen through the spine. And exhale, continue down. Your fingertips can come all the way to the earth. <clears throat> or if you have something else for pyramid pose. So continue to draw your right hip back. And each time you take an inhale, think of finding a bit of a half lift. And then exhale, allow for a little more depth as the forehead draws a little closer to the shin. Continue to draw that right hip crease back. And slowly allow the hands to connect to the hips. Engage the core. Inhale, slowly rise. And as you exhale, we're going to bring both feet out wide so they come parallel to the short edges of your mat. Extend the arms along. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale again, find that hinge forward from the hips as you begin to lower down. Palms can come to the earth, to whatever you have, perhaps a block or a cushion, whatever that might be. You have options. You can hook peace fingers to big toes. But just stay here and connect into the breath. Notice if you start to feel the knees lock out, just add a slight micro bend. And then wherever your hands are, gently guide them so that they're underneath the shoulders. Inhale as you take a half lift. Exhale, we're going to slowly walk the palms towards the top of the mat. Begin to pivot, find a bend into your right knee. Gently lower your left knee down. Toe heel your right foot wide. So you're going to have both palms on the inside of your right ankle for runner's lunge. <clears throat> so there's lots of different ways you can be here. I like to just take a gentle rock forward and back. Find deepening of the hip flexor first. And then when I'm ready, find more of a static hold. Now that can be just as you are. If you have something that you want to lift up a little bit higher and stay long through the spine, even with the breath. And if you're wanting to bring in a little bit more, you can tuck your back toes, float that knee. We're going to be here for a few more breaths. So if you're comfortable, you find you're at your edge, then stay where you're at. Or if you would like to invite in a quad stretch or even just explore one, you can start to ground with your left palm as you come onto the outside edge of your right foot. Roll the thigh open and take a bend into your back leg and then slowly reach around to catch your foot. And think of opening up through the shoulder. So the heart wants to shine up the shoulder open wide. Even if you don't make that connection to the foot, still maintain that opening of the heart space. If you have that quad stretch, gently begin to release. Wherever you're at, begin to toe heel. Your right foot back in line with your hip. Inhale, fingertips reach up, find low lunge. On the exhale, straighten your front leg, palms to the blocks, half front splits. Inhale, shift forward, low lunge. Exhale, take it back, half front splits. Inhale, come forward, palms to the knee, lift the heart. And exhale, slowly Take it back, half front splits. Draw your right big toe in towards the knee. This time as you begin to walk forward, ground with both palms, step your left foot forward and fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. 
Allow the weight to shift into the heels. Inhale as you reverse swan dive all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Guide the hands back to the hips. And we'll take that on the other side. So it's the right foot that steps back. Angle that back foot 45-ish degrees as you square off to the mirror. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale, begin to hinge forward from the hips. Again, find that halfway stop. Inhale as you find more length through the spine. And exhale, find pyramid pose. Again, fingertips can come to the earth, to a block. Continue to draw that left hip crease back. And as you dial into the breath, the inhale gives you space. And the exhale is where you explore a little more depth. And gently guide the hands to the hips. Engage the core. Inhale, flat back, slowly rise. And exhale again, step both feet. So they're parallel to the short edges of the mat. We extend the arms long. Now you can stay arms long here, or if you want to try something different, you can clasp the hands behind the back. Press the knuckles down. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, begin to hinge forward from the hips. Let the knuckles reach up and overhead. Again, that same option as before. Palms can come down. Maybe you explore something different with a twist. Again, notice the backs of the knees. Add in that micro bend. Then guide the palms underneath the shoulders. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, begin to walk your fingertips back towards the mat. You're going to want to come on the left side. So back towards the top of the mat. Right toe heels out wide. So both palms come on the inside of the left ankle for runner's lunge. So whatever how that landed you on the mat, forward or back, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Mirroring with the camera, it's new. Um, but we're on the opposite side. So once you find that uh, runner's lunge, again, you have the same choices as before, but don't feel like it has to look like the other side because every side's different. So you have exploration if you have something to give yourself a little more lift. Option to float the back knee. And still maintain that flat back, even breath. And again, that option for a quad stretch to so ground with your right palm as you come on to the outside edge of your left foot you can start to roll that upper thigh open and then if you choose take a bend in the back knee and slowly reach around to catch your foot again open that shoulder up let the twist from the midline and let the heart shine up and even if you don't make that connection, you can still get all the benefits of that quad stretch. And if you have the quad stretch, gently begin to release. Toe heel your left foot back in line with the hip. Inhale, fingertips reach up. Low lunge. Exhale. Begin to straighten your left leg. Big toe comes in towards the knee. Shift your hips back. Half front splits. Inhale. Come forward. Low lunge. Palms to the knees. Lift the heart. Exhale. Shift it back. Half front splits. Inhale. Come forward. Palms to the knee. Lift the heart. Exhale. Shift back. Inhale, begin to come forward to low lunge. We're going to walk the fingertips. This time, step the right foot forward and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Root to rise. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. So allow the weight now to shift into the left leg. Spread the toes wide. So find that solid foundation. Hands can stay at heart. And then when you're ready, Slowly begin to 
lift the right leg. You want to find a 90 degree bend in the right knee. So I will mirror this one. And then flex in that lifted foot for balancing crane. So stay long through the side body, lift up through the heart. And then slowly begin to guide the knee out wide. You can give it a little assist with the palm. And let the sole of the foot connect to the left leg. You can keep it grounded, toes connect, come to the ankle, take it up a little higher to the shin. Or you can take it up past the knee with that little boost for tree pose. So you want to set that solid foundation. As you ground through the standing leg, feel your knee lift up. Core is active and strong. Hands can stay at heart. If you want to add a layer on to tree, you can start to grow your branches. Take your arms up and wide. Add another layer on. You can take your gaze up and back to follow. Or if you want a little more, play around with closing the eyes. And on your next exhale, we're going to gently release, guide the hands back to heart. <clears throat> and then gently release the knee, come back to balancing crane. So set the foundation again, find that stability. Then gently take the right ankle over the left knee and begin to bend into the left knee, start to lower down. For standing figure four, you can release palms, take one to the knee, one to the ankle for a little more stability. And here is where you choose how deep you go. Everyone's going to feel this a little bit differently in that outside hip. So play around, explore coming down, but you want to stay lifted up through the heart. So avoid this collapse in, open up, draw it in. So wherever that is for you. And on your next inhale, gently begin to rise, exhale, release it down. And just walk both feet a few times, let everything release and find your center. Invite the hands to heart, spread the, what are we, right toes wide, and then begin to lift the left knee. Again, that 90 degree bend, and then flex in this lifted foot. As you root down, lift tall through the side body. And then gently begin to guide that knee wide. Give a little assist with your palm if you like. And then Bite the sole of the foot to connect to the leg. Same options as the other side. So just wherever it feels comfortable for you to land. As you ground through that standing leg, draw your knee back. Core is active. Again, same option as before. You can stay here, hands at heart. You can explore growing your branches. Maybe you try something different. If you want more of a heart opener, you can release the hands, clasp them behind the back. Press knuckles down as you lift up through the heart. Again, that option, if you like, take your gaze up and back. And on your next exhale, gently begin to release. Hands come back to heart. Return to balancing crane. Just pause here, find that stability. Then the left ankle comes over the right knee. Again, if you choose, release palms to the knee and the ankle. You want to stay flex in this bent leg and then begin to explore deepening. Finding a deeper bend into the right knee. But stay lifted through the heart. And inhale, slowly begin to rise. Exhale as you release everything down. Just walk it out. Find center. Let the feet come hip width. Inhale, circle the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, we're going to plant the palms. Step both feet back. Lower the knees down. And then we're going to actually come into a seated position. So 
however you want to get there. We're going to um, extend the right leg out long. So invite the sole of the left foot on the inner thigh. Inhale as you circle the arms up overhead. Exhale, we're going to turn it forward, fold over the right knee. So we're going to hold here for a few breaths. So each time you inhale, think of giving a little bit of a lift. And exhale, allow yourself to deepen in a little bit more. On your next inhale, gently begin to rise. Exhale as your palm comes behind your hip. Inhale, reach up through your fingertips for stargazer pose. And exhale, slowly release back down. <clears throat> then we're just going to switch the legs. So of the right foot comes on upper thigh. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. And exhale as you turn, fold over. So again, hold here. Each time you inhale, find that lift. And exhale to find a little more depth. On your next inhale, slowly begin to rise. Right palm, as you exhale, comes behind the hip. Inhale, reach up through the fingertips. Lift up the hips. Find stargazer, shine the heart. And on your next exhale, gently release all the way back down. <clears throat> We're going to... Bring both feet, soles of both feet flat. Core stays active and engaged. Arms come long, parallel to the long side of the mat. On your next exhale, gently release all the way down. Bite both knees into your chest. Quick little squeeze. And then extend your left leg long. Draw your right knee in on the outside of your ribs up towards your shoulder, where we began this practice in wind relieving pose. And just pause here as you notice, perhaps feeling a little more open in the hip flexors than when we first began. And then next exhale, gently guide that knee over to the left. Shift your hips a little to the right. Find supine twist. So you can either cactus the arms out wide, take them long. And if you want a little more deepening into the twist, you can turn your head away from your knees. And slowly begin to bring everything back to center. Draw both knees into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. Reset through the spine, and then it's the right leg that extends long this time. Wrap the left knee on the outside of the ribs up towards the shoulder. And you're just going to flex in that left foot. Do mindful breaths each exhale, draw it in a little bit deeper. And on your next release of breath, you're going to gently guide that knee to the right as the hips shift to the left. Again, find that place where the shoulder blades can stay grounded. So that's either if the arm is out like a cactus or a T. Again, that option for deepening into the twist. Turn your head away from the knees. And slowly bring everything back into center. Both knees come into your chest, and then reach between the knees. Grab both sides of your feet or outside of your shins as you find happy baby. So think of the soles of your feet as ground, or pressing up towards the ceiling as your knees draw down, whatever feels comfortable for you this morning. And then if you like, you can rock side to side, give a little love on the lower back. And bring both knees back into the heart. Forehead comes in 
to the knees as you hold here. Squeeze everything in. Take a deep, mindful breath. Fill up all the way. And then take a big open mouth exhale as you release everything out. Let the legs extend long. Let your arms find space. Allow yourself to find that heaviness into the shoulders, heaviness with the back of the head. As you release your ujjayi breath, find softness in the jaw. Let the tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth. And allow yourself to just be here. Final resting pose, Shavasana. And feel free to stay as long as you like. And thank you all so much for joining me this morning. From my heart to yours, namaste.